Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on relative frequency. Uh, so we'll go over a couple of concepts in this video and then in a separate video we'll look at some example questions. Uh, so the first concept we'll look at is relative frequency and theoretical probability. Now there are two types of probability here. Uh, so theoretical probability uh, is the probability that you would expect of an event happening. So for instance if I have a dice here and I want to know the probability of rolling a 6, uh, well in theory the probability of rolling a six on a dice is just one sixth. So that's the theoretical uh, probability. So what about relative frequency then? Uh, well, relative frequency is the type of probability that we get by carrying out an experiment or conducting a survey. Uh, so let's say I rolled this dice 100 times and of those 100 times, a six came up 20 times. So the probability was then 20 out of 100. Uh, or you could cancel that down if you want to one fifth. Uh, so that would be the relative frequency. Now the more trials that you do of this experiment, so if I did about another thousand trials, you would expect uh, the results of the relative frequency to converge towards the theoretical probability. Uh, but that might not be the case if the dice was biased. So this brings us on to the next point then, which is uh, relative frequency in bias testing. Uh, so again, if we use the same example, uh, so let's say we want to roll a six, the theoretical probability is one sixth. Uh, and that's just because there are six sides on a dice and one of them is six. So let's say I do my experiment again, uh, where I roll my dice, but I'll do it a thousand times this time. Uh, and of those 1000 times, I get a six 250 times. Uh, now that's our relative frequency, but if we cancel it down, uh, that becomes one quarter. So a quarter is much larger than a sixth. If you uh, convert them both to decimals, a sixth is approximately 0 0.17 and uh, a quarter is 0 0.25. So 0 0.25 is much larger than the expected 0 0.17 or significantly larger. Uh, so what we can say is that our relative frequency is much higher than our theoretical probability. So therefore, uh, the dice is likely to be biased towards rolling a six. Now, sometimes it can be quite hard to see if something is biased or not. So for instance, if I have a coin uh, with heads on it and I want to flip the coin uh, to determine whether or not the coin is biased towards heads or tails. Well, if I do 10 trials and I get seven out of 10 that are heads, uh, then it might not be clear whether or not that's biased or not because I've not done enough trials. So it could just be coincidence that I've got seven out of 10 which are heads. Uh, but if I do the experiment a thousand times and I get 700, uh, then it's clear that the coin is biased towards heads. If you want to get some practice with relative frequency questions, then why not have a go with our online exam? It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, a variety of different question types, and you get instant feedback on all of it. Uh, so if you want to keep track of your progress and find out where you need to improve, this is a really good way of doing so. Uh, so if you're interested and you want to take the exam, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.